Good morning, my lovelies, and welcome to the magic of Monday. I'm just coming on to do Monday's guidance reading. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. I have had such a beautiful, gorgeous weekend. I was lucky enough to be one of the readers at Carly's. Um, obviously, Carly is one of the uh, amazing people at Bardware of Frog Lane. Um, she sort of runs these beautiful events in Wiltshire, and I was so lucky to be one of the readers at um, the Autumn Bramble Spirit Fair, um, which was a two-day event in Yatton Kennel, um, just outside of Chippenham. So I feel so blessed, and so I'm like full in the energy of gratitude today because there was just so many amazing connections and experiences over the weekend so it was great to catch up with some beautiful friends some that I haven't seen for absolutely ages it was also great to make quite a lot of new friends and um yeah just being in the energy with like-minded people it was it was a really really beautiful weekend so massive thank you to Carly and the crew for putting on such a beautiful um two-day event and if you came to see me for a reading or if we just had a connection or we just had a little chat thank you so so much because i had some absolutely gorgeous beautiful messages coming in from the spirit world and through the tarot i just felt like i don't know how to really word it but i mean obviously always my readings are important for people but i just felt like over the weekend these readings were really almost extra special they, they just felt like they were really really important and really really relevant so thank you so, so much if you came to support my work. And I really hope that my work has helped you in terms of sort of um, moving forward or just processing or whatever you've needed it for. So thank you very, very much. So what are we doing today? I feel very connected to, I'm feeling quite witchy today, probably because I bought a new cheeky broomstick, which you can probably just see behind me there, which was, was from a fabulous store holder at, over the weekend at one of the, at the event, I can't speak, at the event. So that had to come back with me. That broomstick was literally calling me for my altar. So I thought we would work with the Everyday Witches Tarot today. And this is by Deborah Blake and the artwork is by Elizabeth Alba. And it's absolutely a gorgeous, beautiful deck. It's one of my ultimate favourites. So these are the cards. So let's give them a knock. And let's see what we need to know about for this Monday and the coming week ahead. So... Just channeling these cards for the highest of good. Let's see what we need to know about. Let's see what the messages are. Let's see where the energy is taking us this week. Ooh. Okay, we're going into the energy of the Empress. So the Empress is the mother figure of the tarot. And when she sort of shows, she's really encouraging you to sort of nurture, to heal, to kind of just hold sacred space for yourself. Now, she is pregnant in this card. So she is also, like I say, the mother figure and she is actually holding space. She's creating new life herself because there's living energy inside her. So this is quite an important time for you to start to plan to birth to sort of plant the seeds of fertility for your ideas of what you would like. But it's also important to actually listen to your physical body. So maybe some of you at the moment are actually just needing to rest. Maybe some of you are actually just needing to go slow. Maybe some of you are just needing to refocus that self-love, that self-care back into you. And it's very easy, isn't it, to get caught up in sort of helping every other Tom, Dick and Harry, and then all of a sudden we run the risk of a bit of a burnout because we've been giving, 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 holding space because the mother is a bit like an earth mother. She can be there for everybody. And then all of a sudden she realises that she's tired, she's burnt out, she's almost got no juice left in the battery where she's given her battery power away to everybody else. So it could be that this week you're being encouraged to go a little bit slow and you can rest, you can recharge, you can take that time out if you need it. And you can still be creating something amazing because sacred life is still forming, even in those moments of rest and even in those moments of healing. So, you know, don't punish yourself, don't be too hard upon yourself if you're needing to take a bit of a breather, because it's, it's okay actually to do that. So there is a focus this week on actually knowing that 
If you need to just go a little bit slow, a bit cautious, if you need to maybe book that healing session or book that massage that you've been putting off or whatever it might be, just just reinvest into yourself, you know, because there is a focus this week on just making sure that you're OK. And I think it's really important sometimes to sort of check in and to scan our body because sometimes we get so focused, like I said, on helping everybody else, we forget about us. So I try and do every couple of days a bit of a sort of a, a bit of a check in, a bit of a weekly sort of scanning. Where are my energies at? Where am I giving my energy to? What's coming back to me? And sometimes um I realise that quite quickly, oh, we're getting into a bit of a negative pattern, need to turn that back around. And sometimes, you know, we forget to sort of see it for what it is. Um, and other times it's flowing and growing and it's all good and it's all, you know, in place as it needs to be. So just make sure that your life is working for yourself at the moment, you know. Don't be too accessible, don't be too available for other people. And it's remembering, if you're giving to other people, I'm not saying that we give to receive because, of course, we don't. But at the same time... You know, if they're not adding any value, if they're not kind of giving any type of energy back, then it's not an exchange. It's a taking. And you want life to be an exchange of energy. And I think that's what was so lovely over the weekend. You could really feel those beautiful crossovers of energy exchange. There was so much love. There was so much gratitude, but there was so much respect for everybody. It's almost like nobody was in competition with each other. We were just one big family, one big unit. It really, really was lovely, very powerful experience. So it, it's sort of that energy that we're sort of being encouraged to be working from at the moment. So I'll leave that card with you. I hope it resonates and makes a little bit of sense. Stay safe, stay well, stay fabulous. Just a quick shout out to say what's happening this week. I've got some clients for Zoom and Facebook, so it'll be great to see you guys. And then at the weekend, I've got quite another busy weekend, back over in Wiltshire. They seem to be calling me back to Wiltshire quite a lot at the moment. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to be back in um, Kelly's shop, Rowan's Closet which is an amazing little witchy shop if you've never been there. That's up in Swindon. So I'll be doing a day of one-to-one -one, uh, readings in person. So if you would like to come and see me there, just pop over to Kelly's page and she takes the bookings direct from there and we can get you booked up. I think we have got some spaces left. I think there's maybe some afternoon spaces. So have a word with the shop, either ring the shop or you can just message the page, uh, Rowan's Closet and we can get you booked in for there. So that would be amazing. So can't wait to see you guys on sun, uh, Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm over in Avebury and I will be doing um, Evelyn's amazing spiritual um, holistic fairs. And I know I've just got one space left now for, for that. So I'm pretty much booked out for Sunday. So can't wait to see some of you lovelies over in Avebury. So it's gonna be another busy weekend for me. So look after yourselves, stay safe, stay well, stay fabulous. Once again, thank you so, so much to everybody that connected over the weekend. It was beyond amazing. And um, yeah, keep shining, look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.